And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. I come to the garden. Welcome to your Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers, bringing you inspiration and education to strengthen your devotional life. The Son of God discloses and He walks with me and He talks with me. Loving Father, once again, we invite your presence to be with us as we reflect upon your words. Give us understanding and give us a heart to obey as we hear your words. We pray in Jesus' name. Our devotional this morning focus on another reason for building a relationship with Jesus. And that is that God wants us. Why do we need a relationship with Jesus? Because he wants us. This might seem strange. But God created us so that we can share in his glory. That is why he created us with freedom of choice and with the ability to love. Parents can identify with this concept. As parents, we know the gratifying feeling we get when our toddler calls for daddy or mommy, running towards us with outstretched arms when we get home. We feel loved and appreciated. We feel this way because we know that no matter how small the child is, they did that of their own free will. They chose to love daddy or mommy. This is the way God feels when we choose to seek him. That is one of the reasons he wants us. He wants us so much that even when we made a mess of our relationship with him, he was willing to give his life to redeem us. St. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. The Bible is replete with illustrations of God in pursuit of a relationship with his people. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 says, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. The story of the prodigal son reveals the heart of a father who yearns for relationship with his son. So the heart of God yearns for a renewed relationship with all of his lost children. And that's why the Apostle Paul could in Hebrews 4 verse 16 encourage us to come boldly to the throne of grace to find mercy and grace to help in time of need. That is what the Bible is all about. God created us for relationship. Relationship got disconnected and God will restore that relationship through Jesus Christ. Revelation 22 verse 3 to 4 says, And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. You might be feeling that you are of no value to the world, but today we are here to tell you, upon the authority of God's word, that you are valuable to Jesus. Jesus seeks a relationship with him. You have something that God wants, and that is your love and your loyalty. Why not seek a relationship with him today? Our quotable quote for this morning comes from the Bible. St. Matthew 10, verse 29 and 30. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. For our prayer focus this morning, we continue to pray for our country, Jamaica, and we pray for our families today. Continue to send your prayer requests to 
457-1414. Gracious Father, this morning we seek your face once again, inviting your intervention in our families, in our homes, where today, O oh God, we hear of so many couples being at odds with each other, so much that they will take each other's lives. O oh Lord, we are asking for healing. We are asking for the spirit of forgiveness. We are asking for the spirit of understanding to take charge of our homes. Banish, O oh God, every influence of Satan and grant deliverance unto your people. Turn back the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. And grant, O oh Father, peace on earth in your homes that is found in heaven. Be with us once again and help us to recognize that you want us to have relationship with you. And so lead us, Lord, to seek after you with all our hearts and mind, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Join us next time for Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers.